Up for sale, 1964 Shelby Cobra replica. I'm gonna walk around it, tell you about the car, fire it up, and then drive it. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, 64 Cobra. Finished in a, a darkish blue, a little bit of purple tint in there. Really cool color, actually. Uh, black interior, of course. 302 fuel injected, five speed. Nicely upgraded, it's got upgrades of course performance wise and suspension wise, which the last one I had did not have. Uh, but of course, you know, go around it, everything I do know about it, put out anything I do see, fire it up and then drive it. Uh, so of course you will start here in the front as always. And a little bit of dust on the car, it's got some wind out here today, but I love the white stripe on there. You get up on the paint. Really, the quality of the paint is super, super nice. There are a couple, you know, touch-ups on there. You build it to drive it, of course. Uh, and I'll point out any of those as I'm going around it or any other, you know, marks that I come across. Two of which being these little guys right there. Um, where do I begin? If you like heavy metal music, the owner was uh, the former bassist. Little chip right there. Former bassist for the uh, band Disturbed, which actually I'm a fan of. Which I found out after the fact, so that's actually not why I acquired it. I just thought it was a cool thing. So technically, when you do get the title and it's signed by the gentleman, you will have his autograph. So let me just go ahead and pop the hood here. So it's a 302 5.0 liter power steering. It's got a different uh, pulley system in the front, a little more upgraded. The last one I have did not have that. It's got the Holly System X on there. It's a nice system. The engine's been rebuilt. It's got good horsepower. Uh, it's a roughly 375 horsepower. And I'm looking. Power brakes. I know you don't see them. They're in there. Power brakes. It's four-wheel disc brakes. Drilled and slotted rotors in the front. I know there's an electric fan as well. MSD ignition. And I have a lot of information on the engine as well. That'll be in the, you know, the description of the eBay ad, stuff like that. The last one I had had the same wheels on it. I think they're pretty cool. You can see the uh, tubular control arms in the front. Of course, the tubular frame as well, just like the other one had. And I'm trying to get a better peek in here. If I remember correctly. Yeah, it's got Mustang 2 front end. You see that there? Which is nice. It's got Mustang parts to it. That rear end is as well out of a Mustang. You see that? And also it's got the, something really, really cool. Dual shocks in the back. You see that? It's got the nice ladder bars and whatnot. Or the traction bars. Or control arms. But anyway, I love those. Those are adjustable as well. Going back here now. I showed you that, I showed you the wheel. I showed you those couple little marks up there. I mean, this all looks super nice. It's got the side pipes on there as always. You got the glass to keep the wind out on the side, on top. Windshield's nice. Little scuff right there. Two more touch-ups there. Get the dust off. Two more touch-ups there. Both seats are nice. You got speakers in the back. Five-speed trans, of course. You see a little chip there from where it rubs. I mean, I feel like that's common. But the dash is super nice. I love the steering wheel. That's brand new. I actually put that in. Odometer reads 4,859. It's got, uh, they're all auto meter gauges. Close this here, gently, put a little mark there, one there, but this is all nice here, a couple little, you know, miscellaneous marks on it that you see like around here, making sure you see that, but again, as you look at the, uh, the quarter here, you see how straight that body is, how nice that finish is. Trunk lid fits the way you want it to white stripe goes down the way it should. I 
see a little mark right in the corner there that's been touched up. And then you open the trunklet, it locks. It's pretty much what you would expect it to be in here. Unlock it. I always try to be del as delicate as I can with these. sake of it I'll open this door up even though once again exactly what you would think it would be there's your key down there I kind of like that it they've left the dash clean and they put it off to the side it's got the AC foot pedals down there as well it's kind of cool like to point out there's a small little exhaust leak on the header here there's a lot of a lot of difficult stuff that i don't want to take apart because I, i'm sure i would never put it back together right but i've got a brand new gasket for it um but uh, yeah yeah uh 64 cobra replica and uh we are going to fire it up now there's two little touch-ups right there again we're going to fire it up now and then drive it in. 